Hello VFX people, I'm AK again and this is Fluid Ninja and we have a previous chapter on baking flip books and materials and I have a few more words uh, to extend this topic. Uh, let's just move on to the Ninja Tools level and uh, uh, go to the previous scene where we have left. Yep. And so this is the baking panel. Uh, there are uh, two more options here uh, that we have not discussed. First, uh, this Atlas versus Sequence. Well, Unreal is normally uh, storing images in an Atlas format, as we call Flipbook, which is basically uh, images tiled, many images, multiple images tiled into one big single image, and that is what we are playing as a sequence. And once you switch this off and press the record button, Ninja is exporting the sequence uh, automatically into a sequence of frames. But remember, uh, Unreal is not able to handle this natively. Uh, so once you have defined an external saving path for PNG export, Ninja is going to put uh, the recorded sequence to that into that folder as a sequence of uh, PNGs or a or a sequence of HDR files. Well, let's say you would like to use this as a, in a compositing software for your uh, for your moving picture. So that is the use case for that. The other thing is is, is a very tricky bull flag, a very tricky switch. This masked. Uh, let's say we would like to do super slow motion. In some cases, the velocity needs to be masked with density. There is, there is not a single rule for that. In some cases it works, and in other cases it, it does not work. Um, I give it another try and I just hope that it's, this is going to be fine. So let's, uh, let's record this again. Yep. Remember, this time we had, we had a different... Uh, setting for this switch. Uh, I tweak these, these parameters a little bit. Well, yeah, it seems to be fine. Almost fine. Um, you have to do your own uh, experimenting with this uh, switch. Okay, uh, let's just leave this panel for now and uh, switch on to the canvas panel. Um, as I have mentioned, here is one option to put the whole thing into full screen. But uh, so, what do we mean about size? Let's say I, I'm just recording 16 frames, and this 16 frame is going to be recorded in a 4x4 four four matrix, and let's say I'm using these values to define uh, the resolution of a single image. And imagine that uh, the resolution is going to be four times of this value. So it's 512 x 512, something like that. And this is how you calculate the final image resolution. Well, offset is like um, um, it's like uh, moving the canvas in, in after it has been recorded. Like uh, as you can see, there is a slight asymmetry here. The the particle emitter is not in the center, so I could I could uh, I could move the the whole canvas. I could do some rotation and scaling. Yeah, it it all belongs to this uh, recorded image properties. Mm, yep, and there's one more thing that we need to mention. Uh, you see this um, save textures with sRGB is very important because, um, as we know, sRGB is a specific, tricky way of uh, storing, uh, let's say brightness information or luma information 
in this limited 8-bit color space by distorting the shape of the color space. And again, in some cases, in most cases, it is very, uh, it is pretty much advised to use the sRGB saving option, but then you have to switch it on with the baked assets. So you export uh, your textures. Let, yeah, let's just do this. Uh, I'm exporting this waterfall thing. Let's let's name it waterfall five, and it's done. And I'm saving the texture asset, and I quit Ninja, and I go to the output folder. Here's density five, and here's the thing, the sRGB thing. Uh, do you notice the difference? At uh, it's pretty different and in, in case if you are you're not uh, aware of this and you record something without srgb and then you switch it on so you mix it up you could lose information in the lower range lower brightness range so yeah one way to <laughs> manage this is to keep it always on but again it's good to know that this feature exists and it is basically a color speed distortion trick well, a bit boring at the end, but now we know everything about baking flipbooks. Thank you, guys. See you next time.